hi guys welcome back to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to configure Huawei router so this router here is a Huawei router and uh, it's HG let me just show you it's HG here that's the router HG8144 V5 okay so let's go to the process that will involve to configure this router here we have a internet service provider as you can see this cable here is from the internet distributor okay and it's plugged into the first port of the router as you can see the router is already on the power the adapter is here power adapter as you can see it's turned on it's blinking it's blinking as you can see here and there's another ethernet cable from the router to my computer so we are gonna use this cable here to configure the router and we're gonna use the whole web login okay so we are gonna log into the router and configure password and the username okay of this Huawei router as you can see here okay this one all right so guys suppose you're not subscribed to my channel kindly we really need your support click on the subscribe button like our video and drop a comment below okay so let's go back to our laptop screen so that we can configure the Huawei router okay okay guys so here we are on our laptop and we will begin the configuration so the first thing that we will do is to check whether there is a connection between the laptop and the Huawei router remember we use the Ethernet cable to connect from the Huawei router to our laptop so let's check if the laptop is connected to the router as you can see when you go under here the network settings you will see this icon here meaning it's connected and always make sure that when you want to configure the router remotely If you want to configure the router remotely, make sure that you disconnect any other connected Wi-Fi networks, okay? So that you only have one connected network, which is the wired one, okay? All right, now the next step is to check the default gateway of that router, okay? The IP address of that router. How are we gonna do that? There are two ways. So, the first way, you come under the network and internet settings, click, just give it time. Then you come under change adapter options. Just give it time, it's loading. Okay, so you come under Ethernet. Click. Then details. You click on the details. And here they are. So we have the IP address of this that has been assigned to this computer here. Okay. The subnet mask. Okay. And the list period. Okay. The list is obtained at this time and it will expire at this time so the computer will require to renew an IP address okay now the default gateway is what we need here IPv4 default gateway so we take the IP address of that router this default gateway which is 192.168.24.1 okay so this is our default gateway the IP address of that router Huawei router that we wanna configure remotely then you just click close okay and now the second way to check IP address of the default gateway. You come to search, then CMD, you hit enter, given time, and now you type a command that's called IP config. Okay, and you hit enter. After typing this command, guys, come up. As you can see, the IP address of this computer that has been assigned to this computer is this one. These are private IP addresses, okay. And now the default gateway is the same 192.168.24.21 okay so this ip address is what we are gonna use to configure the route so let's take it we come to our browser and type this ip address so it's 192.168.24.1 remember in the previous class guys we learned how to configure tp-link router okay 
so if you have not watched that class guys i will leave a link on the description part click on the link and understand how you can configure so that you can have the full understanding of how to configure tp link router and huawei router okay okay now this is the ip address of the default gateway of the huawei router that you want to configure so you just hit enter okay it's loading as you can see welcome to away web page for network configuration pretty much simple and now you just enter your username and password and for this case let me just enter my username and the password password is encrypted it's loading guys as you can see it's loading it's loading Wow, so we have obtained this router interface for configuration. Now we can begin the configuration. Okay, as you can see, Huawei HG5 HG8145V5. Okay, that's the router. And how do we configure? You want to configure the Wi Fi name and the password. Where do we go, guys? Just click on the advanced, then you come under WLAN. Click on WLAN. Okay, and now here are the parameters that we need so we need to configure 2g5 this one okay then you come enable wlan that's okay then ssid so this is the wi-fi name ssid i've already configured it this one and now as you can see the number of associated devices this one broadcast ssd enable enable this one authentication mode is this one WPA2 pre-shared key then encryption mechanism is e AES okay and then this is now the password guys there's difference between Huawei router and TP-Link TP-Link router you know in Huawei router when you want to configure password they are always encrypted they are not in plain text as in TP link you know in TP link when you configure password you will see the password in plain text but to away router you see you cannot read this dot dot dots meaning it's encrypted okay so it's a point to configure the password that you know you are typing it correctly okay I hope you understand that simple explanation TP link router the passwords are in plain text away router the passwords are encrypted so you know you see the difference Huawei router is more secure you can assume that okay all right and then just click on apply you know i don't want to change the username and i don't want to change the wi-fi name and the password because you know it's connected to the users so they will be disconnected i just wanted to show you how to you can go about it so that you can configure your own you just click on the username you put uh, the your user your, the Wi-Fi name that you would like then you come under WPA pre-shared key you type the password that you want and make sure that you type it correctly okay because it's encrypted you won't see it okay so let's see some other features of this router you come under 22 2.4 G advanced network and uh, it's loading And as you can see that TX power that one re regulation domain is in Kenya channel automatic channel with 20 megahertz and so on and so forth and other settings let me see the Wi-Fi coverage the Wi-Fi coverage it's loading you know I just don't want to enable it I'll just skip that and uh, System management. Let me go to system management. Okay, so this is under system management. As you can see, there's several settings here that you can use. But you know, most people always want to configure, you know, Wi-Fi name and password. For the Wi-Fi name and passwords, guys, you come under WLAN. Okay, and under WLAN, this is how you put input the Wi-Fi name. And here you put the password okay so guys I believe this video will really really help you to understand how you can configure your 
own Huawei router okay and make users to connect to that Wi-Fi network okay all right so basically that will mark the end of this video let me log out because for security purposes we should always log out after you are finished doing what you're doing so um, I've logged out okay guys basically that will mark the end of this class suppose you like our video guys and this is your first time to see our channel don't pass without subscribing support our channel we love you so much for doing this for you and we want the best out of you support our channel please subscribe to our channel like our video and drop a comment below thank you so much and see you again in the next video bye